Seniors, be careful and hold your wallets. A major financial initiative from the Canadian government could affect your retirement approach. Imagine waking up to $1,600 in your bank account each month. Presumably unlikely. Stay tuned as I explain how this CPP boost could help you retire comfortably. However, there is more. I will also offer exclusive suggestions on how to maximize this unexpected income advantage. This video will teach you crucial information that could save you a lot of money. Hello, Y Seniors. Welcome back to CRA Updates, the leading retirement financial information platform. Smith, the host, will discuss a new development that has excited the elderly. Please put on your reading glasses and sit comfortable as we discuss essential financial topics. Let's be direct. The CPP just announced a $1,600 boost for all seniors. Smith, are you doubting my statement? I am quite serious, equivalent to a heart attack, which may now have better treatment options. Before planning a trip to the Bahamas, let's examine this rise's genuine effects. The CPP is a contributing public pension scheme that provides Canadians with a steady income in retirement. It's like a reliable friend who always brings drinks on bingo night, you can trust it. Monthly increases of $1,600 indicate a year-long accumulation. We are considering adding $19,000, which would enhance your personal funds by $200. If that doesn't inspire a modest dance. Not sure what will happen. You may wonder why there's a sudden philanthropy. My friends, I behave out of necessity, not generosity. The cost of living is rising faster than my granddaughters outgrow their clothes. The administration admits previous CPP payouts were inadequate. Inflation hurts seniors more. From healthcare to groceries, everything seems to be getting more expensive quickly. This increase aims to close the gap between what we receive and what we need to live comfortably. A key point must be considered. Not only once has this growth occurred, the CPP change is permanent, so you will receive this more money monthly and annually. It's like finding a unique gem. Instead of a chocolate factory, you get a lavish retirement. Now I can see you all eagerly wondering, Smith, is I eligible? Am I eligible? Let me ease your worries. This increase applies to elderly Alabamans receiving CPP benefits. CPP is a pleasure whether you're 65 or 105. There is more information to present. This rise applies when you start claiming your pension, even if you are not collecting CPP but are approaching retirement. It appears the government is promoting your retirement. Please note that this increase does not affect the minimum age for CPP payments. The minimum age to start collecting benefits is 60, although your benefits will decline. If you wait until 70, your benefits will increase. Regardless of when you claim, this $1,600 increase will affect your payouts. Financial impact. Let's talk about how an extra $1,600 per month can affect your finances. We are talking about serious money. This is a major improvement that could improve your life. Consider how $1,600 could be used. It could be used to pay off debts, improve your health care, take a vacation, support your grandchildren's education, renovate your home for comfort and accessibility, or increase your savings as a precaution. The possibilities are endless, and this financial buffer provides important security. You must concentrate on this subject. Although this increase is positive, we must handle it prudently and strategically. Our careful financial actions have earned us knowledge and seniority, right? Strategies for growth use. How to maximize CPP increased benefits. Dear seasoned elders, I have some tried and true strategies to share. Focus on objectively assessing your finances. Have any pressing needs been ignored? You may have put off necessary house maintenance or dental appointments. Now may be the time to address such issues. Additionally, increase your emergency fund. Life throws us unexpected obstacles in a humorous way. Strong and well-funded emergency reserves can bring great peace. Consider investing some of this increase if you can. Through compound interest, a small investment can expand over time. Consult a financial advisor to determine the best investing strategy for you. Additionally, inflation must be considered. Although $1,600 is valuable, inflation may reduce its worth. Consider investing some of this windfall in inflation beating investments. Last but not least, have fun. After a lifetime of hard work, reward yourself. This could mean buying that fancy coffee machine or treating yourself to a monthly fine dining experience. Balance is key. Take care of yourself first. Enjoy the now while planning for the future. Possible drawbacks and considerations. I must examine the drawbacks and implications of this growth to meet my responsibilities. Finance rarely offers free or easy possibilities. First, you must understand that this CPP increase may affect your other benefits. The CPP increase may cut gas prices for guaranteed income supplement recipients. Consider the big picture and how this escalation will affect your finances. 
Additionally, taxes must be considered. A more income is beneficial, but it might also put you in a higher tax bracket. Consider allocating some of this increase to future taxes. Also, beware of scammers. Unfortunately, fraudsters proliferate whenever big money is made. Please note that the government will never ask for payment to increase your CPP. Someone contacting you about the CPPP hike and asking for personal information or money is likely a scam. Finally, don't let this growth mislead you about financial stability. Despite its benefits, it cannot substitute careful financial planning. Keep managing your finances, saving money, and making wise financial decisions. Let's look at the big picture. The rise in CPP reflects a larger trend in Canada of acknowledging elderly people's economic struggles. For a long time, many have worried about our pension system's future. Given the demographic shift between an older population and rising life expectancy, CPP sustainability is a legitimate concern. The increase in benefits shows that the government is aware of these challenges and willing to make changes to ensure older residents have a good quality of life. This is good news, but it's only one part of the retirement plan. As responsible seniors, we must promote retirement financial security policies. This could include pushing for better health care coverage, reasonable senior housing or housing or aid for caregivers, preparing for the future. The rise in CPP is good news, but it also emphasizes the importance of planning. For those approaching retirement who have not yet started receiving CPP, now is the time to plan. Consider these. At what point should you start your CPP benefits? You can start at 60 or later and your monthly cost will vary. How does CPP fit into your retirement income plan? Remember that this is just one retirement income source. Are you taking advantage of RSPs and TSSSS as you considered your retirement healthcare strategies? These issues must be considered around retirement. Remember that planning can begin at any time, regardless of time. Even small actions taken today can have a big impact later. This hike in CPP illustrates a concept I've preached on this platform for years. Financial literacy is crucial. Understanding how these systems work. Understanding your legal rights and benefits and making informed financial decisions is crucial, especially as we age. Cray updates are why I created this channel. I wanted to create a venue where we could discuss these important financial topics in a way that was accessible to seniors. Money can be confusing, especially when regulations seem to change constantly. However, we must consider something crucial. Finance expertise is not needed to make smart financial decisions. To properly prepare yourself, you must learn and ask questions. This community revolves on that idea. Which action should you take now? Focus on what counts and avoid panicked or rash decisions. This increase will automatically change CPP payments. You can claim it without doing anything. However, I recommend these quick steps. Evaluation of financial plan. This surge is a good time to review your monthly financial strategy and make changes. Consult a financial advisor. They may advise you on how this rise will affect your finances and how to use it. Explore more benefits. Ask if this CPP Increase affects your eligibility for other government benefits. Gain knowledge and understanding. Keep abreast of CPP and other retirement benefit changes. Knowledge is valuable, especially in finance. Spread the word. Many seniors may not know about this rise. Please share this with friends and family who may benefit. My competent and experienced seniors are done. We've covered the details of this large CPP pike and how to maximize its benefits now. Remember that this $1,600 a month is not just more cash. This can boost your retirement finances and well-being. It's important to approach this unexpected cash gain with caution and anticipation. Use this boost to reassess your finances, reconsider your retirement spending, and make the necessary changes. Additionally, the big picture is crucial. This increase is good for Canadian seniors' financial security. It is only one part of the image. We must keep learning, advocating for our needs, and making prudent financial decisions. Before ending, I'll explain my actions. My CARE updates aim to help you negotiate retirement finances complexities. Control and decision making are crucial in finances. How do you feel about CPP increases? How will this affect your retirement? I want your opinion. If you like this video, please like and subscribe for more senior financial advice. No matter the date, you can take over your finances. Smith from CARE updates wishes you a prosperous and enjoyable retirement till we meet again. My acquaintances, be smart. Subscribe to our channel and enable notifications for senior money updates. If you know any older people who could benefit from this information, please share this video. Knowledge is important, especially in finance. Hold on to financial intelligence until we meet again.